And today's Madden 21 breakdown. I'm going to be breaking down some gameplay with the new 94 speed Tyreek Hill in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, uh, we typically do four YouTube videos every single day. Most of them are focused on tips and tricks videos. Today, we're doing a little bit of a gameplay inside the mind, uh, some weekend league play uh, here on the Mutt servers, and uh, just breaking down, just got the new Tyree kill, so wanted to jump into a game, test him out, and kind of see how he plays. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put him at the outside receiver here in the trips tight end because we want to be able to run him on uh, a couple different uh, routes that is going to be perfect for his 90 I think he's going to actually be at like 98 or 99 speed even once you've powered him up and once you've given him um, his his different boosts and things that you can do within the chemistries uh, to be able to get that up a little bit higher so we're going to start out with that and we'll see how we do now we're going to be starting out here with just a simple um, simple route combination I'm going to have to end up running the timeout but we'll run a New England's playbook uh, in this video now. If you if you did not know, uh, I'm actually currently writing a guide on the New England Patriots offensive playbook. So uh, that guide should be out by the end of the weekend. So if you want to pick that up, just shoot me a text. Uh, my number is in the description, and uh, I can shoot you the message whenever that video goes live. But uh, my number is 812-216-3644 in case you want to uh, shoot me a text. Another great thing about that is that is also how you can... Uh, basically pick up my text message membership videos that I release every single week to just my text message members So anyways here, we're gonna start out with a little uh, streak and just for fun We're gonna test Tyreek Hill right out of the gate and looks like he shaded coverage over top And he is not gonna be able to outrun Deion Sanders. So no big deal um, starting out a little crazy here on weekend league, but um, Just wanted to kind of test test it uh, test the speed from the jump there and as you can see uh, with that shade of coverage over top, still not going to quite be able to get over that over that defense. But uh, I feel pretty good right now on, um, at least on defense. Um, we'll see. This guy may uh, make me regret saying that. But um, lately, my nickel 3 through 5 has been playing really, really well. I actually have, um, I'm trying this out. I have strip specialist on both of my outside defensive ends. And I have, uh, I think, double or nothing on them. So basically just trying to see if they force more fumbles. I don't know how I didn't jump right there for that pick. Um, but just trying to see, you know, I think if he has Gunslinger on him, that would probably be an interception. But Derek Thomas and uh, Chandler Jones, they both get strip specialists. So I put it on them to see. And I've actually gotten a pretty decent amount of strip sack fumbles uh, within this within this little 3-3-5 scheme here. Uh, but basically this 3-3-5 scheme kind of centers around uh, coverage mainly. Uh, just trying to kind of bend but don't break, if you will, um, the defense. You know, just trying to kind of force him to, to to get down. And this is where you know you really have to, in my opinion, uh, be able to get stops this year in Madden. I think Madden is all about um, getting stops inside the red red area, the red zone. That's kind of the. It's always been like that, but it's even more like that in this year's game, in my opinion. I actually really like um, Tampa two in the red zone. But we'll see here. He might go to the inside zone. Yeah, Alright, so first down and goal here from the nine. And he does go to inside zone. And I got Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's a beast. And here's the kind of thing about the ratings. All of my uh, all of my outside uh, rushers in this in this defense here, they all have um, they all they all have at least uh, 90 plus power moves and 90 plus finesse moves both uh, and I feel like that little stacking of that does help a little bit here I'm going to try this 3-4 bear red zone defense I haven't tried this much but I feel like this actually could be pretty decent in the red zone this pinch dog three uh, especially with how how well the sheds are from the 3-4 bear so we'll see how this goes and again I'm just kind of messing around a little bit on on the game here with uh, Tyree kill but um We'll get we'll get more offense going here in the next drive. We won't try to just force it to Tyreek on the on the first play. All right, here we go. So we got third and goal here. That's where the defense really needs to make a stop here. I got that three wreck in the middle of the field. I got um, actually I should have probably put them in. Uh, and he's gonna get that. Yeah, I should have I should have put the. Um, Probably should have put uh, vertical hooks out there instead of on flats. 
Anyway, all right, so fourth and goal here from the two. This will be interesting to see what he decides to do. He is going to go for it. So he's going to come out and spread. And what we're going to do, we're going to do the vertical hooks this time, not make that mistake. See how these see how these uh, deep halves play. I feel like down in the red area, these deep halves play fairly good. The only thing you gotta kind of watch out for is like a deep corner route, deep out breaking pattern. Looks like he's gonna run quick slants. Oh, and he gets it, man. That's crazy. Okay. So he ends up getting the conversion there. That's no big deal. So we'll keep that in our in our um, memory bank for the next time we're in the red zone. Um, I probably should have ran uh, man coverage right there uh, just because of the routes that he ran on the previous play it seems like what he's going to do down in the red area is he's going to run kind of some honestly he's probably just a little bit more basic basic routes um not going to do any zone beating concepts or anything like that so we'll just throw we'll probably send seven and run man press next time we're down in the red area all right let's see how dion can do here all right, offensively, we got to go down. We got to score here. It's kind of critical uh, to the to the game plan here. So, let's see. We're gonna come out in our PA counter go from the Phillips tight end, and kind of get a little bit more of a traditional drive starting off here. I like to start off with this little bubble screen. I think this bubble screen does a pretty good job because man coverage does kind of stop it. But when it's from trips tight end, I feel like the man coverage doesn't really stop it that much. It's more what they really have to do is kind of play hard flats. And the whole the whole thing that I like about this scheme is it really does force uh, people to play hard flats consistently. Here, Tyreek Hill, because of that shaded coverage, obviously he's going to have to shade on that consistently to stop that that streak to Tyreek Hill. So if we can, you know, kind of just not, not force the streak, but uh, consistently, you know, make them respect the streak, and then we can hit that curl out of curl flat. All right, let's see here what we're going to call. Right here, I think we're just going to call curl flat one more time. And just take the running back. And it looks like he ended up dropping that. All right, I think he's going to primarily sit in man coverage is what it seems like. So what we're going to try to do, um, at least on the next play, we'll do it on the next play. We're going to take um, Tyreek Hill and we're going to motion him. We're going to do kind of a little bit more of a man beating version of this PA counter go. We'll see if this works. And we are able to beat the man cover, Stefan Diggs. I still think Stefan Diggs has some value with his route abilities. You could say, you could argue that Julio Jones is better, but um, I still really like Stefan or Stefan Diggs. Just because he hits all the he hits all the route running thresholds, which if you don't know are 90 and above. So ideally, if you really want your receivers to play better in Madden, you want to have 90 route running at whatever route it is that you want them to play better on. So if you want them to run better post routes, which is what I like to do, um, then I want to make sure that these guys uh, are, you know, sitting at, you know, sitting at a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent route running in the deep area. So right here, going to go to this little motion over post. I broke this down on the YouTube channel. Looks like he's actually in cover two, and you're going to see Tyreek Hill uh, able to get up and get a pretty good route, uh, pretty good route right there on that play. Now he's going to go, interesting that he went to Tampa 2 in that. He did base align that. So now what you probably can expect him to do is go back to man-to-man. -to -man. So we're going to go to a little bit of a man-beating concept out of this formation. Very simple little uh, curl flat concept. We've got to get this guy in motion there. Three, two, snap. And he ends up going to zone. So let's see if he can't get, get out of here with Tyreek. And Tyreek making some pretty good plays here on the second drive. Let's see here. I actually really like this Y screen in this situation, but I think we're going to go to Pat's Flood. I actually really like Pat's Flood in the end zone. In the red area, this play is pretty good because you get that nice out, out route to Stephon Diggs in the back of the end zone, and then you can basically work uh, some of these little underneath concepts right here. And he is going to go. Oh, and we threw another pick. Dang it. That's all right. Got a D up. Felt like that out route should get open on that route, but unfortunately did not. So we've had a de we had a decent drive right there, just weren't able to capitalize on it. And we'll see here. Let's get that pick. Come on. Oh, he caught that. Man, that's got to be a pick. 
All right, we just part of weekend league, in my opinion, is it all about <laughs> maintaining your composure <laughs> when fluky stuff like this happens. Let's see, back in here, curls. There was another aggressive catch, and we dropped three three people drop interceptions. Perfect. I feel like we can kind of hang. I feel like you know, not you can't be mad at the defense right now. Um, first drive. Let's see. It's going to go inside zone. No. That should be a pick. Thank you. All right, Cliff Harris, Cowboys legend, gives up nice pick here. You know, we probably should have been able to get out of there. We weren't able to, but that's okay. All right, so back to the trip side. Now let's see if we can get another drive going. Now because he's running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, we're going to try to catch him here. And I want to catch him before the two-minute warning, actually. So we've got Tyreek Hill on the post here. He does go to man-to-man -to -man coverage. Tyreek Hill, all that speed, should be able to get over the top. He is not able to get over the top again. That's kind of aggravating that Deion Sanders is sticking with him. Tyreek, Tyreek Hill literally has a like plus two or three, unless he's running some kind of theme team that able to do that but we're going to keep kind of pushing the ball down to Tyreek Hill a little bit here on this primarily because it should open other things up for us so just going to go with a basic route combination here on the right let's see if we can't get over top I think we got him there click on and Tyreek Hill does not make the catch this is awesome so we're getting a little aggressive on offense we need to kind of come back into a basic uh we need to pick up the first down. So we're going to run the same motion this time, but instead of Tyreek Hill being on a streak, he's going to go on a slant. Kind of use that, use that speed uh, for a nice little underneath crossing route. We'll take a look here. And he does give up that little crosser to Chad Johnson. In my opinion, still the best receiver in Mutt, um, just because of the ability that he has to be that route running archetype really does open up a lot of things. For him to be able to be placed on. All right, right here we're gonna go to little uh, slot corner. He's gonna go to zone, and we'll just take our check down. And right here, it's just critical, just critical to go down and get seven. I feel like the defense is actually looking pretty good. Looks like he was in cover four on that. I think we're gonna go to verticals here, just to just to kind of see what we can cook up a little bit now when he goes to man oftentimes you're seeing a lot of that backed off coverage so what we might do is send Tyree kill on a post route over the middle of the field well, honestly I think what we're gonna do right here is we're just gonna go straight verticals and just take our check down to the back let's see if we can get out to there and probably should have stopped and go Minute 46 left. We just kind of want to keep. Um, we're going to send Tyreek Kill on the streak just in case he presses, just to keep nice integrity of the routes here. Probably won't. He actually did press right there. I think he went two men under. We're going to take Chad Johnson right over the middle of the field, get down inside the 10, and see if we can put a put some points on the board here so he went to man we're gonna kind of check into this rpo oh he picked 60 dang night train lane literally just shedded that block that's crazy he must have hard flatted all right that's all right we just gotta go get seven might be come back every year kind of thing i feel good on defense i feel like our offense has just really kind of let us down a little bit part of switching to a new playbook when you switch like I've been in the middle of switching to New England a little bit. And part of the challenge is, like, you have all the routes in the world. You have all the plays. You have all the route concepts, all those things. And you break it down. And in practice mode, you've, you've got it, right? It makes sense. And everything works. And then you jump into a game. And um, your reads aren't as crisp. You're not as used to seeing what adjustments they're going to do. You know, and that's where that's where you get stuff like this right that rpo will work 100 percent of the time if he doesn't hard flat if he does hard flat i gotta hand the ball up right there and so just those little things that you uh pick up and pick up with the more you execute a game plan um to me that's what that's what you saw on that drive right there 
But here we're gonna go to a little bit of a shot play because we need a we need a big play in the game. I actually, like I said, I feel pretty confident that the defense is gonna be fine uh, in this game. He hasn't done anything that really gives me cause for concern on offense. The only thing is I want to make sure that I can get a stop here on defense. So we're gonna go to a little bit of a simple concept. I'm thinking he's in cover two, but we'll see here. And Tyreek Hill's gonna get him over the top. Got him. Touchdown. And that's what I'm talking about with that Tyreek Hill, all that speed. And that play is a play that is in the ebook right there. Nice little one play. He actually went to cover nine. I thought he was in cover two. It probably would have been a little bit more open if he was in cover two. But now the defense has the opportunity to uh, – we can get back on defense. We can get a stop before half. We can go down and uh, try to get more points. And then I feel pretty confident in the second half we're going to be able to come back out here and make a pretty good game out of this. If not, just come out and play uh, pretty solid. But – Right there, that's what I'm talking about with Tyreek Hill. When you have all that speed, um, just can get over the top of the defense a little bit quicker, especially on some of those bomb plays. And he's done a good job, I think, of actually mixing up his coverages too. He was like running some press man, running some off man, running some, you know, cover nine, you know, just kind of running. And, and part of playing weekend league to me is a lot of it is random. Like you're playing a lot of people you don't know. So it's trying to kind of navigate that as well. Here's the angle route. We'll take that. And that's got to be an interception. There's double, throws it into double coverage. I'm hitting ball hawk right there. Like, to me, that has to be an interception. We've, that's what I'm saying. On defense, I feel like we're okay. You know, I feel like the 3 3 is doing its job. Um, 3 3 5, I'm telling you, with some of the patches, some of the latest updates in the game plan. And we wrote a whole ebook on this. You can get that in the description if you want to pick it up. But to me, 3 3 5 into this 3 3 5 wide. Is pretty uh, pretty stout in my opinion this year. Looks like he's gonna run, and see you know right here like if I'm in his shoes I go the ball you know I'd, I'd kind of want to go to half, um, but I think you know the pressure to score he's starting to feel it a little bit, so I would anticipate that he's gonna sh sh try to push the ball down the field here. Um, we're gonna stay in the three through five. He might be able to run here if he gets it, and he might get me right here. Let's see. We'll drop back on that. And we get the pick. Let's see if we can go for six. And that's okay. That's all right. So we get the ball back on, on offense. And that's what I'm saying right there. Just kind of forcing it downfield a little bit. Um, we stay disciplined in our user. And he makes a bad, bad decision. Now we're going to try to do, and this is where, um, you know, calculated risk, really. But we're going to try to hit Tyreek Hill on that little corner route again. I don't know if we'll get it or not. It looks like he's in, man, like, man and blitz or something cover off. And we'll see. And we got him. Burned him. Burned him. Tyreek Hill. There it is. So 14 to 14 now. And now we're starting to show a little bit of life on the offensive side of the ball. I think he just missed, uh, kind of broke a coverage there. And that's what trips tight end can do to me, uh, or can do to people, in my opinion. And that's what the Patriots playbook can do to people, is it can really do mess with your alignment a lot. You know, you got really good routes, but you also got really, really good formations uh, with the trips tight end, the U trips. Um, the split close, all of those formations mess with the alignment of the offense or of the defense. So feeling good right now. We just need to we just need to get another stop here. If we can get another maybe another pick and go up by three, that would be perfect because then that's going to put us in a little bit more of a of a driver's seat. But so far so good for the defense, at least in my opinion. And we're going to go ahead and contain rush. I don't know if it'll help or anything, but we'll see. He might go inside zone here just to kind of see if he pops one on us. But 3-3-5, three, three, like, it'll give up yards to the inside zone if you just leave it like this. But it's not, not going to get killed. So there's that route there. There's that route there. He's going to go over top. We might be able to get him Shaq Griffin. All that speed. I think he's got the new Tyreek kill as well. Um, anyway, we're able to get over that. Double juke that. And get us in a good position. Now, we got two timeouts here. This is where we're going to need to go down, and we're going to need to make some things happen. Um, like I said, right here, this is really, really important to me that we get three points, okay? I don't care necessarily that we get uh, – that's why we're going to actually try to see if we can pop a little pop a little inside zone here. We're able to get outside Reggie Bush. 
and get us into a pretty decent spot. So ball on the 33. So right here you got one timeout and you got ball on the 33. So in my opinion, what you're going to do, and I'm pretty sure you can make a field goal from here. Um, I actually need to do the tests on my guy to make sure I understand that. But what he's, you got to understand, what is he probably going to do, right? What's he probably going to do? So we're going to flip the play because uh, we want to run our trips to that wide side of the field. We're going to max protect. We're going to take our tight end, put him on a post. And then we're going to basically do some underneath stuff on this right side, just in case, uh, just in case we need it. But we're really looking to try to take a shot here and try to hit Tyreek Hill over the middle of the field. We'll see if we can't catch him. And we force it and throw a pick. That's fine. Ugh. That's a little bit greedy. I thought that I thought that outside. I knew what coverage he was in, and Brian Dawkins just played that better than he normally does. Normally, and it might have just been because of the down and distance and where we were at on the field right there. But that's okay. That's all right. I still feel good. Still feel really good about the defense. Um, and I think that's the key there. That's why I'm a little bit more, you know, okay with kind of forcing it a little bit. We'll see what he tries to do here. He should just run this ball and run the play out. But he's not going to. We'll see. And there's a sack fumble. That's what I'm talking about, the strip specialist. And, man, if he would have got up and got it, that would have been huge. But that's what I'm talking about, the sack fumbles that you get when you put strip specialist. And it's just one AP. But you put strip specialists on those outside ends, and then you put defensive rally on your nose tackle. As a, and you, I would put double or nothing on all of them. And I'm just testing this out. But it just makes the pass rush better. And I'm telling you, like, yes, you want to send some pressure from time to time. And you can. there's certainly ways that you can send pressure from 335. There's also ways you can send pressure from nickel 335 wide, right? I mean, there's, there's opportunity for that. The thing that I've been noticing is that you get fairly good sheds if you just let them let them work out of the nickel three three five. That's just my personal opinion and what I've noticed. But um, and I, I just feel like with the way the routes uh, work, you you want to make sure that you have some discipline in your coverage. It's right here. We're going a little slam. And I also have strip specials on my user. So I have three of them out there just trying to kind of cause some chaos. I stopped using um, – I don't think that I have Acrobat on anybody. I stopped using that. And he jinxed me. Brings up a third and two. Deion Sanders going to take that. Make sure there's another interception. I can see. I mean, the defense just has clamped. The offense has just been – offense has been, you know, kind of like back and forth a little bit. But hopefully in the second half here we can put this game away. Offense certainly has not performed to where it needs to perform. He's going to go with the fullback fake. I kind of I kind of knew he was going to do that. I shouldn't have – I shouldn't have come out in punt return. That's actually a decent call by him. I should have come out in punt block. But it looks like because he can't throw, now he's going to resort to running the ball. I'm going to go to Mike Blitzo. He's averaging about three and a half per carry ish. So we got third quarter, ball on the 46. Let's see what we can do. Gun split slot. I've been really liking this. Uh, crap, this skins all the way out here. Let's see if he runs. Yeah, he's. that's what I was thinking. He might run that. Yeah. Good run. Good call. Good call. I should have shifted down into my 335 wide. I wonder if he's thinking he's going to clock me out or what. There we go. 
little read option. It's actually a pretty decent call, but three three five Y is not gonna not gonna lose to read option. I'll tell you that. Where's the post? Where's the post? There's the pick. Cliff Harris has been huge for us. Let's see if he can't take it all the way. He just doesn't have that top end speed. I don't know who caught him. This guy must be running some kind of theme team. He might be running a. Not sure. Because those guys are playing like super fast. Alright, let's just. Um, let's just keep it simple on this play, this possession here. Let's just hit Tyreek. And nice little deflection. I've been getting. I think there's a lot of like random fluke with those deflections. I, I really have noticed that a lot too, which is another argument to basically rush, you know, two, three, four people and let them, you know, let them work. We got him with that motion over. We'll see if we can't get him this time here. Tyree Kill on this little motion corner route. Watch Deion Sanders to see. And he is in cover two. We are going to be able to hit him. Right over the top. Get ourselves in scoring position. Now, like I said, right here, this is where you need. This is where you can't have turnovers. Um, we've already turned the ball over, I think, two, maybe three times in scoring position. This is where, um, this is where, you know, we've got to capitalize and execute right here. So we're going to come out straight inside zone. Nothing too crazy. We're going to try to, we're going to try to run this um, right to the right here. Double juke him, carry him into the end zone. We got a pretty good run right there. We're gonna run right back to it out of a no huddle. We'll try to quick snap here, and he's just not prepared on defense. Didn't even run commit, so we'll take that. And we'll get our get our seven points. Get back on defense and keep locking down. Um, and now the pressure is a little bit on him. He's not gonna be able to run the ball as much. So this is where we should be able to put the game away. But you know, just a lot of. Like, kind of honestly, and if I were to play this game over again, you know, obviously wouldn't be so aggressive on the offensive side of the ball, trying to push it and press it downfield. Um, but really what you take away from this game is when you're playing weekend league, when you're playing someone you've never played before, you have to kind of feel them out in the first half. He's been running a lot of random coverages. It's almost like he basically literally cycles through and he's going to run man coverage on first down, cover two on second down, cover three on third down, and cover four on fourth down, right? And that's, you know, that's how some people play the game. That's just what it seems like he's doing. It may not be exactly accurate, but um, when people are starting to do stuff like that, that's where you have to come back to some of your basic bottom line, your power play, your counter play, not just trying to press the ball down the field one play against every coverage in the game. I actually really like this cover four against Bunch. We'll see how it does here. The corner route's going to be wide open. But see see that pressure? See, that's what I'm talking about, those pressures. Those are two pressures that we're able to get. And um, I'm telling you, what once at least once a game, I'll get a strip fumble. Pretty much routinely, once a game, you'll see I will get a strip fumble. And see how that, see how that deep quarter zone kind of hangs with that corner route? Um, depending on the window you throw it, obviously, but I feel like it does okay. And here, uh, we're actually going to change up on him a little bit. We're going to go to man. And we're going to shade coverage inside. We're going to try to take away the crossing route and the deep post with this little cover one. And the running back's wide open. He ends up hitting us with a nice little post shot. That's Steve Smith Sr. So he does have his man beaters down. Okay. Let's see how he does against this cover two. Because the reality is, and here's the thing. We're in no pressure on defense. There's no pressure on us as a defense. We've got seven points. We got the lead. We got an offense that we know feel confident can go down and score three if we need it to. So really, what we're just trying to do is just kind of sit back, make sure and make sure that doesn't happen right there. That he's able to get out of bounds. It starts trying to 
swing him outside, be able to take that away. But he's kind of racing against the clock. Um, you know, right here, this is where the whole playbook's open. I'd actually might expect an inside zone just because you get that two minute warning um, after this play anyway. Something over the middle or inside zone more than likely will be his play call. Let's see, we'll take that away. And he, man, he threw that into five people. Probably should have just stayed on that cross here. I was expecting the in route coming behind the crossing route. Ended up jumping that, but we'll see here. It's all about the red zone. So what I'm saying you're going to see it's going to come down to a red zone possession right here. But again, remember, we have no pressure on us right now on the offensive side of the ball. Or on, on just on my side of general. All the pressure is on his, his team. Because he, he's got to go down. He's got to get seven and a field goal. And he's also got to do it in a way that doesn't allow me time to go back down and score you know, on my stuff. So we'll see what he does here. There's the post. And we end up breaking that up with Night Train Lane. Third and one. You might dial up the pressure here. I'm going to send some heat here. It's kind of just, it's a simple six man. There's nothing too crazy about it. But what we're trying to do is get him to force it right to that. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I was, he was either going to force it to the middle of the field or he's going to force it up back. He hasn't really seen anything like that. So just give him a different look. I think we might have got our A-gap heat out of that too. So five wide here. And we're going to go man across the board. Travis Kelsey ends up getting open for him. So right here, I'll take a timeout. And the reason I'll take a timeout is because right now he has three or four more downs, and that's it. That's what he's got. So, you know, I know that, obviously. So part of what I'm trying to do right here is just force. Um, I, he obviously has three timeouts. So he's not worried about the clock. I'm not worried clock, about the clock either. What I'm worried about is, do I have enough time to get back? Now, I probably won't call another timeout. I'll save this other timeout right here. Um, I mean, I might call another timeout. We'll see what he does. We'll see. It, it, it depends on what he's going to do here. I'm going to try to bluff me in coverage here. I don't know if this will work, but we'll try it. We'll see. Right in here. And he is going to run. That should be a fumble. And that's on there's that strip specialist once again. Taylor Mays able to get the fumble. Now, right here, he's actually not in a bad position. And to be honest with you, um, the whole thing is everything is open right now for me offensively. Um, not afraid to pass, obviously. But really what I what I have to be careful of, I'm okay with taking a safety. I'm actually okay with taking a safety in here. Um, and that would get sticky with him. We get out, and Reggie Bush with a great run at the end of the game. We'll stop and go in the backfield. Kind of Le'Veon Bell action ends up closing the game out for us really, really nicely uh, as we're going to be able to come up right in here. And basically, um, you know, not a bad timeout here, but we're just going to be simple. Nothing too crazy. Obviously, we could have scored. We could go back on defense. We could do all that. But uh, we're just going to kneel it out right here. We'll take our three, take all of his timeouts, um, and, and, and roll on. You know, we'll get a decent runoff here. And then we'll just kick our field goal, go up by two possessions. He's just not going to have enough time to run enough plays that he's going to need to run. Uh, and you'll see that. Right here, you'll see. There's that runoff, so it's going to take it down. And he's, it's actually smart by him not to call a timeout right here. It's going to give him about 15 seconds um, once he gets the ball, which is fine. We're going to go up two possessions. Um which is all we really needed to do because it's going to be really hard for him to score. It's just going to be really hard for him to score in that short amount of time twice. Right. So 
Good timeout by him. He's going to get about 12, 12 seconds. Ideally, he's going to have about two plays. Um, and what I like to do here, you know, you've seen so much fluke with kicking the ball. Uh, I like to kick it kind of short and right into the middle of the field. And that, you know, the main reason is because I don't want him to be able to run out of bounds quick. And I also want that ball to stop. It ends up going in there, unfortunately. What I should have probably done is sky kick the middle, but um, that's okay. And what I personally like to do, um, if I'm facing – you got to realize where you can get beat. Uh, what I like to do here, though, is I actually like to send the gas. So I'm going to send the heat here uh, and basically use her on this guy and just watch for the deep zone, deep routes. Calls there and nothing really there. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's gameplay. There's some video footage on Tyreek Hill in Weekend League. I think right now we're, we're undefeated in Weekend League right now. So... Uh, good stuff. Patriots ebook coming out this weekend. So if you want to get that, just shoot me a text again. My number's in the description. It's also 812 216 3644. If you want to get our free text message membership videos, you can also pick those up in the description as well uh, at that same phone number 812 216 3644. We've got more tips and tricks videos coming today. We've got three more videos coming out. One is going to be at four, one's going to be at six, and one's going to be at eight. And then we'll be live streaming so you can watch some more footage and more gameplay footage of Tyreek Hill tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a text.